Hello. And then it's on her way. <laughs> Hello, lovely colouring friends. My name is Amanda and this is my channel, Amanda Colours. I hope you are doing really, really well today. When you are seeing this video, I will be in recovery from a surgical procedure that I had done. Um, so I'm trying to get some videos done ahead of time so that you guys have content while I'm in at least the first week of recovery. Um, I'm sure it will have all gone fine. Um, but yeah, so I am here with a bit of a um, colour and chat video for you. But before I do that, did you know that the happier you are, the less sleep you require? Isn't that interesting? I think it is. So Emerald, you can sit over there. And today I am going to be colouring this page here. So I want to finish this whip because I don't like having unfinished pages in my books. And I actually coloured the background of this in a series I did earlier in the year um, where I showed you how I do these messy metallic watercolour backgrounds. So hopefully you can see the shimmer there. It is metallic in the background. Um, and I'm going to finish the rest of it with my Copic markers because I love them and that's how I colour in these books, um, mostly. I do use pencils sometimes, but I, yeah, I just love my Copics and I'm so used to them. So, um, it's also easier for me because my hands are still really struggling with pencil colouring and the number of layers you need to do and all that sort of thing. So I am going to give them a break. So hi everyone. How are you? It's been a while since I've done just a colour and chat sort of video. Um, I don't really know what I'm going to talk about, so who knows where this will end up. <laughs> um, but yeah, I hope you're well. I hope you have been enjoying your colouring and... Um, and doing lots of creative things that make you happy. Because life is too short to not be doing things that you enjoy. Speaking of which, it's coming up to one year since my stepfather passed away. That just hit me today. Um, the 28th of September will be one year. And I can hardly believe that it's been a year already. And yet it feels like such a long time ago because so much has happened and so much has changed. But there you go. So <clears throat> let me know in the comments what it is that you have been up to with your colouring or your creativity. Have you been diamond painting? Have you been making cards, doing puzzles? I really like doing puzzles. I haven't done any for a long time. So that is possibly something I could do while I am recovering as well. Okay, I always colour matchstick mouse the same way. Um, and I always make her hat orange because that is the colour that Morgan O'Brien has made it on, like, the coloured versions of pages. So... That is what I like to do. I know other people like to give her different coloured hats and I think that's a really cute idea too. There are some just gorgeous coloured versions of um, Matchstick Mouse out there. I keep it quite simple. I think her belly is usually, yeah, her belly is usually a bit lighter, uh, but it almost looks the same colour as her face, even though I didn't do it that colour. I might put some of this through here too, because I think I usually do. And then I always do her hat orange, as I said, and I usually use the same orange same oranges because I actually use a few 
different oranges. So yes, as I said, at this point, I'm sure I'm recovering from my surgery. And um, because it's around my stomach area, um, I have to be on a particular diet for a while, which, yeah, so I have to go from clear liquids for a couple of weeks to um, milky liquids, then um, purees, soft foods, and then normal food. So it'll take a while to get back to normal. Um, and the pre-op diet that I've had to do to shrink my liver um, has just been, oh, it's been awful. Thankfully, I'm over like the detox stage, but um, yeah, it was like, um, I can only have like those OptiFast, OptiSlim shakes and that's it for two weeks no other food. I can have some um, low sugar jelly or jello as Americans call it. Um, but yeah, that's it. It's been really, really hard. But I'm a week into it today and I am doing really well. So I'm really proud of myself because food and eating is a big issue for me. Um, it has become something I depend on to cope um, through all the trauma and stuff that I've been through in life. Everyone has a way of coping and for me it has been eating. Um, there are also genetic issues and stuff in there but you know so any kind of there's also um, past trauma issues around food for me too but I'm not going to go into that. Yeah, so restriction on food for me is a really big deal, but I've been doing really well. I'm really proud of myself. I'm sure my liver must be shrinking, but I'm also losing some weight, so that's really nice too. So I'm just colouring these leaves, putting in a few colours to make it interesting. So it is October and this year has just absolutely flown by, hasn't it? It's just crazy. Um, I know the Northern Hemisphere is in autumn and going into winter. We are in spring, although it feels like summer. It has been so hot here, just like crazy crazy hot um, and today is one of the crazy hot days um, <clears throat> but it's also been a bit of a an up and down roller coaster um, with the weather one day it'll be 37 the next day it'll be 24 the next day it'll be 35 so it's just been pretty yucky actually but thankfully I have um, air conditioning and fans and um, I don't really have to go out in the heat much so I'm very thankful for that what else is going on um, can't think. Now, what colour shall we do the birdies? They could be browns, like a lot of baby birds are. They could be yellow, but that would kind of make them more like chickens. Mm. Maybe... Let's do the, let's do the branch while I try and decide. Uh, 
yeah, so, um, what was I going to say? <laughs> I can't even remember now. It will be good to have one of my health things sorted out. I do have to have another procedure probably in December, possibly January, um, to help with some lady issues that I've been having. So hopefully it will help. But yes, I'm excited for December. Um, my birthday's in December, Christmas is in December. Uh, we'll be going away sometime in January up the coast to the central coast again, um, taking my niece and nephew this time. So that will be a whole lot of fun. Um, <clears throat> I might do them in purpley blues maybe, but let's do their little feet. One thing I also like about, and their beaks, about um, Copic markers is it's quick, especially in um, these books, because you're not doing a whole page, you're just doing the illustration in the yeah. centre. And mm, it's kind of a bit more purpley and blue but that's okay that's kind of the color I want to do the combination of light hydrangea and hydrangea in the Copic markers so B63 and BV13 is one of my favorites I use it all the time <laughs> all right let's do this dude's head Yeah, I really don't have much to talk about. Um, my life really has been revolving around um, all the health stuff I've had to do. I mean, there's lots of exciting things I could talk about, but I can't really share them yet, so I can't. Um, this one I might do his whole face. So they're all a little bit individual. I do really wish that um, Morgan O'Brien would bring, would make his, um, the Way Home book available again. I really, really love it and I'm almost finished it. And I really want to finish it because I enjoy colouring in it so much, but I also don't want to finish it because then it's done and I can't get another one. So that's a bit sad. I do understand why he hasn't though put all that work into it and he can't you know earn anything back on it anymore for copyright reasons but there you go yeah so just trying to make each one a little bit different from the others so let's go back in with the hydrangea so just go in with this and add in some shadows. In a wispy way, seeing they're probably all fluffy, like newborn chicks, little babies.
So I don't know about you, but I've already been thinking about what I want to colour in the new year. Um, I've already picked a couple of books that I'd like to focus on. Which will be fun. And I know there'll be some... Um, oh, I've ruined this one. He looks like he's got a beard. Anyway, um, uh, what was I saying? Yeah, so I've already picked some books I want to focus on. I know there will, I have a couple of projects books that I will continue to work in, I'm sure. And yeah. So that will be fun, but I'm also trying not to wish the year away. I um, I think a little bit because of my surgery, I kind of feel like most of October will be, you know, recovering and stuff like that. Then November, I don't know, it always seems to be busy in the lead up to December and Christmas. And then it's Christmas, birthdays, multiple birthdays in my family in December and then it's the new year so kind of makes sense I guess to be planning already but I am a planner anyway I like to have things planned out I like to know what I'm doing what's coming up that sort of thing But yes, this is pretty much done. So thanks so much for hanging out with me while I did this. I think it turned out really well. It's really cute. Um, actually, I might do some little shinies on their eyes. Just adds a bit of extra character. And maybe some more highlight on the berries. And on the beaks. And that's it. So yeah, thanks again for hanging out with me and uh, give the video a thumbs up if you liked it and please subscribe to the channel if you haven't yet because that would be awesome. Um, yeah, leave any questions, comments, whatever you like down in the comments section and I will see you in the next video. Bye.